You know, this is one of the things when you're fishing out here and you're fishing open water weeds, you never know what you're going to hook. This is our first fish. I just decided to come out with my wife, Barbara, and to cast a little bit. Look at that reel singing. That's a duck at 2,500 size reel with 20 pound braided line. And I'm using a seven foot medium action spinning outfit because we got a bit of a wind out here. This guy's going all over the place. He's going under the boat. And that fish is taking it. We're still in weeds. So, oh man, come on. Come on out of there. I just hope he doesn't cut that fluorocarbon leader. I'm only using 20 pound test at the end because we're really going after walleye and some bass. Let's see what happens here. Man, I love the arc on that rod. This rod has so much power. You know, one thing I like about the duck gate rods is that the first part of the rod is flexible. Oh good, he didn't eat it that I can see the crank I can see lots of weeds. Well, he ate it. See that lure in his mouth, but it's not uh, gone. That is a good size northern. He's ready or not. Oh, he's running right now. This guy's got so much energy. As I was saying, what I like is that most of the ducket rods, the tips are soft. When I say soft, for the first about four guides, you see that the, the rod bends, which is perfect because you get a slight delay when you go to set the hook because that rod tip bends a little bit and then the rest of the rod has tons of spine and power to get into the fish. I tell you, this guy's fighting hard. Ah, he's got tons of energy and I'm not babing it. It's a good sized fish. I'm going to have to get a measurement on him. I'm just going to get my net. See if I can get him in the head first. Ah, come on. Come on. You know what? It was touch and go there for a minute. And that lure is out of its mouth. Ah. Okay. Look at that. That is a big northern. Man, that might be uh, 40 inches. We're going to see here. Here's my crankbait all chewed up. Look at Can you tell that this is battle scars here? All the paint's coming off it. I'm surprised that the hooks didn't open up because this is a big fish. Okay, I'm going to give you one nice look and then I'm going to uh, try measuring it. How am I going to hold him up here? This guy's a brute. Don't thrash. Man. You know, when I saw him come by, because I almost literally saw him hit, I thought it was a muskie. Let me just... Oh, big fish. This is a Lake Ontario pike. So he's got tons of energy. I'm trying to be gentle here because I don't want to get uh, cut. And he's got tons of power. So I'm just sliding my finger underneath the gill plate. And look, at, isn't that a gorgeous pike? From head to tail, you can see he's a gorgeous creature. Look at it. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. So we're going to get a quick measurement. Ah. Yeah, and this only goes to 36 inches. Uh, he's over that. He's about 39, maybe 40. You know, isn't that a gorgeous fish? Okay, let's get him back in the water. Tons of energy. And we're just gonna let him revive a little bit, but man, he wants to go. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing when you're dealing with a big fish. Come on, slowly in. Oh, don't bite me. Come on, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Right on top. Oh, oh there he goes. 